up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony as your new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 toyota 4runner trd pro courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because this is the ultimate off-roading 4runner if you wanted that incredible reliability to go along with it as well and we got the solar octane paint which is super stinking cool as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fuel ride quality sound system exhaust club all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so msrp for the 2023 forerunner trd pro will start at fifty four thousand six hundred and twenty dollars powering the beast is a four liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 270 horsepower at 5600 rpm 278 pound feet of torque coming in at 4400 rpm that power being sent to all four wheels through a five speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.7 .7 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 16 in the city 19 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel so now that we have gotten all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put that acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 4runner trd pro here up to speed all right in three two one yeah baby a little bit wet out today by the way uh, yeah, that's not bad actually. So 0 to 60 is 7.7. It's not the best, but honestly, this is a heavy vehicle. That did all right for what this vehicle actually is. So you're not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. That is for sure. That's plenty of it acceleration for what the four rudder is. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, four wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at 127 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, it's okay. It's not bad. It's a little bit on the softer side, of course, as to be expected in a vehicle like this and most SUVs in general, actually. But 127 foot number, it's it's pretty average for an SUV. I've seen as bad as 139 feet. So 127 feet, it's pretty much on point. It's nothing crazy for sure, but it'll get the job done. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension in the back, four link with lateral rod, rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, TRD tuned front springs as well, along with TRD Fox high performance shocks because this is the TRD Pro after all. Also, you get a locking rear differential and multi-terrain select because this is the TRD Pro. So if you're planning on taking this thing to the beach or the sand or something like that, you are 100% going to be set in the TRD Pro without a doubt. But overall, just on the regular road right now, as far as ride quality goes, it's actually not been that bad. It's perfectly fine. My short little test drive here today, and these are freshly paved roads, I will say that, but I've had no issues. I'll just put it that way. As far as cabin noise goes, I want to touch on that next because we actually have a uh, a TRD specific performance exhaust. It is an option. And we're going to be doing that exhaust clip a little bit later in this video, so you guys will get to hear that. But that's really the only cabin noise that I'm getting right now, and to me, it sounds wonderful. Now there is a little bit of drone at highway speeds. I will say that, but if you want the exhaust it's worth it because to me it sounds stinking cool and again we'll do that exhaust clip in a little bit but as far as steering feel goes at lower speeds it's a much heavier steering feel but at highway speeds it does tend to loosen up a good bit which i don't mind in an suv that's perfectly fine for me so no issues there and touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back now, i will say the second row headrest they are pretty darn mammoth and we do have them up a little bit as well but having said that because of the shape of the forerunner really you're not going to have any issues with visibility in this thing but i did want to also mention there is a power rear window i always love this in four runners just, just literally right the buttons right behind the shifter here and that can open and close that rear window and that's going to assist with a little better visibility there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 toyota 4runner trd pro all right so here she is you guys the new 2023 toyota 4runner finished in solar octane which by the way is a 425 dollars paint option in case you were interested but as always let's go ahead and start with where the 4runner is actually made taking a look at the vin first character is the letter j indicating that the toyota 4runner is 
built and assembled in Japan, as it should be. So let's now go ahead and start up front here. First thing actually I wanted to mention is the hood scoop. It is available with some gloss black accents. It looks pretty darn good. Large matte black front grille does come standard with the Toyota lettering spelled out horizontally in silver. Definitely uh, looks good and that's actually specific to the TRD Pro trim level. To the sides, full LED headlights, meaning both low beam and high beam with LED daytime running lights. Automatic feature of course coming standard, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Also though, you have automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically then bounce it back up the high beams. So very convenient feature there as well. And taking a look just underneath of those headlights, LED fog lights do come standard on this one as well. So I absolutely love that. But doesn't stop there. If you go all the way underneath here, let me see if I can get underneath and try to show it to you guys here. But there are a ton, absolute ton of skid plates. So you have skid plates covering the engine and the front suspension, TRD Pro stamped front aluminum skid plate, of course, specific to the TRD Pro. You also have a skid plate covering the transfer case. That's another one specific to the TRD Pro as well. But anyways, that about rounds out the front end of this one. Very cool look, but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, let me go ahead and start with TRD roof rack coming standard on the TRD Pro all the way to the top there. Gotta love the functionality of that. TRD Pro badging found on the C pillar and really the Forerunner does that for all trim levels, but do like that as well. Finished in a matte black there. Rear privacy glass does come standard. You also have body color power adjustable side mirrors, which by the way are heated and we got LED integrated turn signals there as well, which is pretty cool. In case you were curious about the running boards, they don't come standard and honestly for my six foot self, I had no problems getting in and out of this one, but if you wanted running boards, they go for $345 $5, they are an available option. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup. Again, this setup is specific to the TRD Pro. 17 inch matte black flow form TRD alloy wheels with all terrain tires, of course, as well. So that is pretty darn cool. Definitely a good look. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, found just in between that uh, roof rack there, you got a matte black shark fin antenna. Just blow that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just underneath of that rear window wiper. And so one of the cool things about the Forerunner, like I was saying, is that power rear window. So obviously the wiper can't be asphyxiated to the rear glass for that reason, but see if I can show it to you guys. It is tucked away up underneath of that rear spoiler, kind of like the Chevy Suburban and Tahoe do, just because the rear window does open and close. So love that as well. But LED taillights do come standard on the Forerunner TRD Pro. And you guys can see there's a tow hitch down there at as well so by the way towing capacity comes in at 5,000 pounds in case you were interested about that but one of the coolest things let me go ahead and make my way over to the exhaust here single exhaust outlet does come standard but there is a TRD performance exhaust which we do have which is awesome which goes for $1,050 so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So been making our way to the back of the Forerunner here when it comes to opening that rear lift gate. It is a manual lift gate that just comes standard, but once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 47.2 cubic feet. There is no third row, by the way, for the TRD Pro. Some of the other Forerunner trim levels do get a third row, so I do want to emphasize that, but with that second row folded down, there's a 40-20-40 split that comes in at 89.7 cubic feet. That is very impressive, actually. That's actually more than the Telluride, than the Palisade, than the Pilot, than the Highlander, than the CX-90. I could go on and on. It's more than most SUVs that are three rows out there, so that is a good bit of space. You could probably sleep back there if you wanted to, on the beach, in the sand. That's pretty cool. Anyways, tie-down anchors do come standard 12-volt power outlet. There's a 120-volt power outlet back there, grocery bag hooks, there's a cargo cover. But my favorite part, actually, there's this cool little shelf that you can pull out. It supports up to 400 pounds. And uh, you could probably sit back there and just chill, like right in front of the beach or something. I don't know. I like that it's there, though. Then making our way to that second row legroom. That is going to come in at 32.9 inches. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. There is rear ventilation, of course, for the second row passengers. There's dual rear USB charging ports as well. And there is some front seat back netted pockets. And, of course, I don't want to forget to mention the rear center armors with cup holders to go along with all of that. It's open then making our way up to the front seats. A soft text finished is going to come standard 
standard eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar. And by the way, the power lumbar was very adjustable, more so than I'm used to seeing. So I definitely liked that. Four-way power adjustable passenger seat comes standard. TRD lettering found on those headrests finished in red. And there's some red contrast stitching, of course, as well. And by the way, heated front seats do come standard. So honestly, overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was actually really, really good. Partly due in part because, of course, you got power adjustable front seats, but that power lumbar, that was really where it's at in this thing. But anyways, let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrap. The 10 and 2 grips are definitely on the thicker side, which I personally prefer. Then take a look at the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. Very basic key, which means if you lose it in Ocean City, it's probably not going to be that much to replace. But you got the Toyota logo and lock and unlock. That's simple. But keyless entry with a push button start does come standard. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located kind of just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, as far as gauge cluster goes, tachometers all the way to your left, speedometers on your right. There is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that. There are some steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel there. That will give you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's trip A, trip B. There's a digital speedometer if you wanted to display that instead. That is pretty cool. There's a ton of different things. Tire pressure for each individual tire. There's audio information. There's some vehicle settings up there, but a lot of things. I'm just going to leave it on how many miles you have less than two you hit empty that's probably what i would leave it on so anyways gauges are pretty basic and to the point wouldn't mind seeing a digital gauge cluster i always like digital gauge clusters because they're more customizable but this will certainly get the job done though but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality a power moonroof does come standard love that you do have home link controls for up to three different garage doors kind of found on the ceiling just behind the uh interior lighting here so that's definitely nice as well auto dimming rear view mirror does come standard you got an awesome trd shift knob as well well, TRD specific, gotta love that. Dual zone climate control does come standard. And by the way, I love this carbon fiber finish just surrounding the shifter as well. That is pretty cool. You got a little cup holder there. Got a cup holder behind the shifter, cup holder in front of the shifter. A couple phone charging ports as well. And within the glove box, there is uh, plenty of space within there. Let's check out the center armrest here. Oh, we got a lock box. That's an added option for sure, but I'm just gonna turn this thing. And uh, yeah, you got 12 volt power outlet within there, plenty of space, but yeah, you can actually lock up your stuff in there apparently. And just behind that, you got a little place for your tissues, or at least that's what it says that you have to put in there. But overall, it's a very, uh, very basic and to the point, um, nothing fancy in this thing, but I do like the lock box. That's pretty cool. But so then taking a look at the infotainment screen here, eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard, Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system coming standard as well. You can check out your weather information up there if you wanted to, and of course your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound system, in the TRD Pro 4 runner, you will get a 15 speaker JBL sound system with a subwoofer and an external amp. So that sounds like a pretty darn good setup, but as always, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out this JBL sound system that we have with us here today. <laughs> That was awesome. That was a really, really, really good sound system for the 4Runner without a doubt. I love that. I had a JBL subwoofer in my first car back in the day. It was an external one that I put in the trunk. That sounded pretty cool. But yeah, JBL is a very reputable company. They've been around for decades now. And that was an incredible sound system without a doubt for the 4Runner. I'm telling you guys. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the 4Runner in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. But not just that, you do actually get a panoramic view monitor that comes standard on this one as well, giving you that bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. That doesn't always come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, of course, Toyota Safety Sense. And so what that is going to give you is a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, dynamic radar, cruise control, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 4Runner TRD Pro, this thing is an off-road legend. It has been around for so long. Some people will say it's a dinosaur, but you know what? It is a reliable off-road dinosaur. So if you're into dinosaurs, this might be the SUV for you. Or if you're into reliable vehicles that'll go 300,000 plus miles and you want to go off-roading on the beach or in the mountains or whatever, 
definitely one to check out. Plenty of cargo space in this thing as well. I love the rear power window. Love the JBL 15 speaker sound system. Really, as far as I can think of for room for improvement, you got fuel economy not being the best. And I'm sure if they updated the uh, transmission in this thing, that might be changed. Uh, obviously, if they made it turbocharged, that would change that as well. But then it would probably hinder reliability a little bit. But so you got that. And also, I would have loved to have seen a full digital gauge cluster in the 4Runner, just like they do on the new Tundra for example but anyways that about rounds out this review you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold